Greetings viewers and welcome back to Just Short of Fantastic. I'm finally doing a book report and I realized that I didn't remember the organization of book reports so I had to go and watch the last book report I did which was on the Barack Obama books and that was a really long time ago and I'm really sorry. Anyway, so without further ado, the book report. Educating Esme, Diary of a Teacher's First Year by Esme Raji Kodel. I hope I said that correctly. And it is, as it says, the diary of Esme's first year of teaching in Chicago. So I've been on a bit of a teacher life kick lately. I'm having some doubts. I've sort of approached a crisis point at my relationship with the teaching profession and the EFL track that I'm on specifically, and reading this book really uh, helped me to get back in touch with the reason why I became a teacher in the first place. I really loved seeing another teacher's, that, that creative spark and passion for teaching and for her students. Yay! As it says right on the cover, this is the diary of a first year teacher. She's teaching in the city of Chicago, but she is somewhat of a rebellious spirit. She defies the administration. She talks a lot about her conflicts with her principal, but she also talks about teaching math by way of the cha-cha, and she builds a time machine in her class so her students can go back in time through books. Obviously the standout event for me was when she built a time machine in her classroom for her students. That was just amazing. I have since discovered that after she left her first year school, she became a teacher librarian and now she's no longer a teacher but she's an advocate for children's books and literacy and read alouds in the classroom and I think that's wonderful because that is something that I personally am an advocate for as well. I love reading out loud. I think that children and really everyone, people of all ages, should be exposed to the pleasure and wonder of just having books read out loud by someone who enjoys them. So the book begins in June at the end of her student teaching practicum and goes for a full year until the following June at the end of her first year of teaching in her own classroom. Throughout that year, she keeps a steady chronicle of the major events in her first year of teaching, getting hired at a new school, meeting her new principal, meeting the staff, meeting the students, and all of her triumphs and all of her failures. And I'm really impressed at the writing. She writes with so much honesty even when it paints her in a really unflattering light. And there were times when I read this book and I, I, it was so cringeworthy. I was like, oh my God, like, I can't believe you said that or I can't believe you did that. Um, but it's just, it's so honest. And I admire her courage. I admire her integrity for putting it all out there. I mean, doing your first year of teaching is tough. I, d I don't know if people really understand that. Teaching is hard. This book came out 20 years ago, and reading it now is shocking how little the education system has changed in America, and how it, it just seems that the teaching profession is getting worse. But with, with people like Esme Rajikotal doing what they do, working tirelessly to revitalize education, I, I have hope for the future. Uh, long story short, recommended to anyone who has any interest or stake in the education system. Or who has ever had a teacher. Alright, let's end with a quote. If you are motivated instead by what you can impart, that can really shift your teaching into overdrive. Maybe you enjoy traveling or cooking or dancing or playing the guitar or solving mysteries. Maybe you are an enthusiast of poetry or history or sports or architecture. Whatever it is, integrate it into your classroom environment 
and your curriculum. Infuse your teaching with your unique passions and personality. That's what will make you a teacher the student will always remember and what will help inspire your students to follow your lead, embracing life, and becoming true learners. Thanks for listening to my book report and stay just short of fantastic.